Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today, I'm going to be doing my pickings for the Locked in Sao Paulo Champions Tournament, I guess I'll say, uh, for this year's VCT season. I'm basically actually going to do two pickings, because obviously I'm going to do my own pickings right here, as you can see. However, I'll be also doing a Valorant Simulator um, I'm probably going to be doing this as well for the Americas, the Masters, and Mia. I just, I, you know what, because I, I just want to have fun, you know? I just want to see who is better, a human or an AI. That's really all I, I, that's really all I want to do. So I will be streaming this on my Twitch channel. So obviously if you want to follow it, it's rjvt, twitch.tv forward slash rjvt, uh, if you want to follow it. And um, so, you so yeah, so you, you, you can get notified about this. Um, but as of right now, Let's get right into this one right here. So, obviously, my own pickings. Now, obviously, uh, I do need to actually screenshot this because, um, I mean, one, I actually need to figure out what, like, how many points are each. I think I'll be fine, but whatever. I think I'll be fine with it. Um, but either way, let's get right into it. I might, I might screenshot it, but we'll see. So, I first start off with the alpha side, and we have Koi versus NRG. Now, I do remember, if I'm trying to remember, so Koi's roster consists of, uh, obviously, I'm doing this before everyone has their six man, or like most teams have their, uh, sorry, um, doesn't have their six man roster. Um, mostly everyone has their fifth man, so that's pretty good either way. So, there's some Koi, there was Sh Shados, Trex, Coldamenta, Wolfwind, and Starzo, so that's pretty good. NRG, however, has the four optic players of Finesse, Victor, Crashies, and... No, never mind. It's three. Never mind. It's three. I'm an idiot. Finesse, Crashies, Victor. Then we have Artis and Som. And we also have Twyfer as a sixth player. There is quite a lot of firepower, I'll be honest, in this team. I mean, actually, in both teams, I should say. But I will have to say NRG, I think, will just edge it out. I think it's going to be a great match, though, because there's... There's at least some great players on both teams, uh, but I do think NRG would just slightly win against Koi. Next up, we have Destination Focus Me versus Giants Gaming. Let's just get this out of the way, Giants Gaming. I'm sorry for your Destination Focus uh, players, uh, sorry, um, fans, but I'm not confident at all in Destination during this season, um, especially here in Sao Paulo. I think what they demonstrated in that Japanese um, tournament that they had, like, when, like, um, Z like when it was, like, Fnatic, Paper X, who else? It was, like, some... Was TRX, when they versed it was, like, the Japanese teams, it was A-Division Destination. They looked horrendous. They looked horrible. They actually looked confused as hell. So, and I think they're actually going to continue on this on to um, land, onto Sao Paulo, and Giants Gaming, they have a, they have a scary ass roster, they have, who they have, they have uh, Cloud, Nookie, Rhyme, uh, crap, who else do they have, uh, Fatino, and I can't remember who the other one is, Hoodie, that's the other one, Hoodie, uh, so that's already a fantastic roster, but for Destination uh, Focus Me, obviously I actually have it on my phone, which is why I'm looking, they have Suggest, Rota, Zinfree, uh, Anthem, Soldum, and Take J. I mean, I think as what I've seen, Take um, so uh, Soldum, he has not even played a single match. I don't think it's just been suggested Reta, in free Anthem and Take J. Obviously, some pretty good Japanese screen players, but um, I'm not really confident. I'll be mm -hmm. honest on Destination, so I am just going to say Giants the win that. Genji versus Lat. I think it's going to be a pretty good match. I do think Lat will take this because. Loud does actually have some great players. I mean, they have like, like three core players of so Aspas, Les, and uh, Sartak. And then they have um, Kalzen and Tuzzi. Two very, very young players. And two players who actually really perform pretty well in the Brazilian side. Genji, they've, uh, they, they've been a bit iffy, I'll be honest. They have like me they have Meteor King, TS, Echo, and Secret. They obviously used to have um, Intro. But also he had to leave for some reason. Um... But yeah, I'm not that fully confident on Genji, I'll be honest. Of how, especially how they performed in, um, there was a Korean uh, tournament as well, which they performed horrendously in. Uh, so I'm not that, I'm, I'm, I'm not that confident on Genji, I'll be honest. Next up, we have Fun Plus Phoenix versus Carmen Corp. Obviously, this is the Chinese Fun Plus Phoenix. And I got the French Carmen Corp. And I had to say Carmen Corp will probably win this. 
I think MPX obviously has a chance of actually upsetting. Um, I can't actually, man, I'll be honest, I cannot remember who their players are. Um, all I know is that they're formerly from the um, Zhi, uh, how do you pronounce it? Zhi Kui? I'm pro, um, maybe or Zhi Kui uh, Ross, uh, Rossa? I probably mispronounced it horrendously and I apologize for that. Um, but Carmen Corp, I think they're probably going to, uh, I mean, it should be obviously an easy win for Carmen Corp, but obviously. Um, the Chinese scene is very, very unknown, like, literally, I mean, <laughs> Carmen Corp, they could actually lose to FBX, I could actually, I can really see that, so, uh, you know what, let's do it, <laughs> let's go for the game, <laughs> let's go for it and say that FBX will win against Carmen Corp, I'm actually, I have no idea still, but still all over the place, DRX versus BBL, that's an easy one, DRX, um, what else I really had to say? BBL, they haven't really done anything other than maybe uh, other than adding Elite and Solchini, obviously an actual IGL, and they don't have to use another uh, um another IGL Kushner X. So yeah, I mean DRX all the way. This one, Cloud9 versus Paper X. I'm a bit scared. I'll be honest, I'm a bit scared of, of on this matchup. C9, they have a, they look very very good in the um, Red Bull home grounds. Paper X obviously won in the Indie Invitational, and they were actually pretty good against the, some of the Japanese teams as well. But I will have to say, Cloud9 will win this just because I mean they have like Yang Zelsus who are over, who are obviously great players. They also have Anti Leaf and Zeppa. And Paper X, they haven't they didn't change anything or they have changed is that they added cigarettes as the second as the sixth player. That's really all. They haven't really changed the coaching stuff or anything, nothing about. Um I do think Paper X may struggle on this one. So I do think C9 will win that one. Team Heretics versus Evil Geniuses. Now we don't know who uh, who the fifth man, who the five players actually going to be for Evil Geniuses, because obviously they're gonna be building a ten man roster. Um but obviously with the roster as they have um Right now, they obviously have Rusio, Reform, Jogimo, Calm, uh, Apoth, Ethan, BCJ, most recently Demon1, um, who I'm pretty, pretty sure was who was supposed to play for Disguised Toasters team, but obviously got poached into Evil Geniuses. Uh, I mean, it's a good, decent roster. I mean, it's really all, I'll be honest. I mean, I, 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 I don't know what else to say other than it's, it's just a decent roster. And Heretics is also just a decent roster. Uh, if we have a look at Heretics roster, they have Kellogg's, Mixwell, Zeke, Boo, and Avova. Actually, I made up my mind, Heretics is going to win. Um, the only one I'm a bit worried about is Zeke, because obviously he hasn't played competitively in a pretty long time. So that might be a bit of an issue, but either way, I have to wait and see about that. Uh, MIBR versus Talon Esports. This could be interesting, actually, now, now I see this. So, first off, Talon Esports. Talon Esports basically has the the Azertia, uh players of Karoos, Foxy Z, Sushi Boys, and uh, Patty Fan, and then you have Garnets and Jit Boys. Garnets was pretty good. Jit, I don't know. Uh, actually, I, I'm pretty sure the five men is just Karoos, um, Foxy, Sushi Boys, Garnets, and Jit Boys. Decent roster. I mean, the, I'm pretty sure they actually came second. I'm pretty sure in the tournament in um in like DRX, uh, was it DRX A Division and Gen G. I'm pretty sure. So they actually are pretty decent. MIBR, we have Jay Z, Frozen, Heat, Murs, RGL, Meister, and Zalzen. I don't think Zalzen's gonna get any play time, so we just ignore him. I mean, they've had, they got like three plays from Vivo Key, so that's actually pretty good. And but Talent Esports, they obviously have some of the core players, some Zosia who were also pretty good. Um, if I have to say, uh, plus MIBR, they uh, the only mat, well, the only um tournament that they were a part of is that it was only MIBR and Leviathan who were the only partnership teams in the, in the tournament and Leviathan completely thrashed him. Uh, so I'm going to get a bit of controversy and say that Talon Esports will win this one. I think MIBR gets sent home pretty early and Talon Esports will win it. Next up, NRG versus Giants. This actually, might be, this actually is pretty close as people will think, generally. Because NRG, obviously, they, they have some great players, but I do think um, they're going to struggle a bit, obviously, as the first land and everything, so they need to get used to everyone else. I don't think Sam is really going to fill in the shoes of Marv, and Artists might actually fill in the shoes of Ye pretty well, but um, I think Finesse might be trying to um, have, I don't know, like, 
basically how he had it in optic if that makes sense but i don't know if that's really gonna work giants however those they have a brand new roster a very very good roster very very solid one however uh it, 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 it's actually really close because I like both of these teams. I think Giants have a very, very good roster. However, they do have basically, like, they do have the former coach of G2 who kind of sucked ass, I'll be honest. Sorry, Pepsin. Um, well, G2 as a whole kind of sucked ass last year. So they obviously, so they obviously they have Hoodie and Nookie. But then they have Ryan, who's a really good IGL. And it was kind of wasted on, on Gen G. And Cloud, who's actually a pretty decent uh, player for Tina as well. I'll probably have to give it to NRG, but I'm going to throw this out here. J there is a massive chance that Giants Gaming may actually win this. Loud versus FPX. I'm going to say Loud is going to win that one. I'm sorry, FPX, but I don't even think they're going to um, go that far. DRX versus C9. This is another phenomenal match, which I am struggling to think of right now. Um, if I have to really say, I'll probably have to say DRX, they have much more firepower, they have a lot more skilled players there, so I do think DRX is going to win that one. Team Heretic, so Talent Esports. Uh, you know what, let's, let's go with Talent Esports. I think Talent will definitely be the biggest surprising team in this tournament, I'll be, in my opinion. NRG versus Loud, obviously, a little, little old rivalry, I guess we'll say, like three Optic players versus the three Loud players. Uh, I think goes NRG. I think NRG would just barely make it. I think all of NRG's games are going to be incredibly close, in my opinion. So I don't think it's going to be like a complete bloodbath. I think is I think they're going to be at least two one in a couple overtimes as well when on on most maps. But I do think NRG will def will qualify into the playoffs. DRX talent esports. I think DRX is going to win it. I mean, who else really can you have to say? Definitely that. So let's submit the Pickums. That's all I have right now. So I move over to Omega. So we have Team Liquid versus Team Secret. Now, if we have a look at Team Liquid's roster, they have Soulcast, Yampi, Red Guard, Nass, and Safe. A very, very good roster. Team Secret, uh, they have Jesse Vash, Dubstep, Borkum, Jeremy, Envy, and Lenny. And they have the Warbirds as the coach. Yeah, easy Liquid. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else you can say. Na'Vi versus Crew. Na'Vi, I don't know what else to say. Na'Vi is basically the leader. Four former FEX players along with CNA. That's already crazy enough. That's all I really have to say. Crew, they may struggle. Z Division versus Leviathan. I generally think Leviathan may actually surprise some people. Obviously, Lee Z Division, they have they basically have the five core players of Laz, Crow, Deb, Sugar, Zero, Ten, Barca as a sub. Uh, and then, but they, but we have it over in Leviathan, have basically have a pretty good. Good lineup. King, Takalila, Shine, Nosware, um, Zeno, and Kesnit. That was really, really good. Um, I'm going to give it to Leviathan. I think I generally, I, I have a lot of confidence on Leviathan on this tournament. I think they're going to play very, very well. And I think they're going to win it. Team Vitality versus Global Esports. Team Vitality. Let's have a look at that roster. Now, Sender, Bone Cold, Mulsey, Distraint, and Twiston. This could be a very underrated roster. And I think a lot of people are saying that. That this roster may be extremely underrated. They also have Salah, Gorilla, and Strong. Basically, a full British coaching lineup. Uh, but pretty sure they were, I'm pretty sure they were part of the Oglu. Well, some of them might be part of the Oglu roster. Which were meh to be, to be best. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can't remember what team they were before um, Oglu. But... I think Vitality may actually win this. And then Global Esports. We'll also have a look at Global Esports. Let's get Rossi, Lightning, Fast, Aaron, Texture, Bowser, Wrongski, Money, Cap, and Skillsy. <sighs> I don't know who the five man's also are going to be, but I think there's going to be a massive issue with Global Esports because of how, <laughs> ironically, how global they are. Um, it'll be very difficult for Aaron to, obviously, IGL, while also, like, because there's because there's sort of like texture and Bowsley, and I don't know how good their English are going to be. I think SK Rossi, Lightning Fast, and every, every, all of them are flying. Wrongski as well. I mean, he's Australian, so that makes sense. Money, I think he might be fine as well. But I'm more worried of the of the Korean players if they can actually speak English. So I think Aaron, he has a low, he, he has a massive job to do for Global Esports, and I generally think Team Vitality will win against Global Esports. For the Esports versus Rexwick and Keon. 
Oh god. Now, I will be also posting, well, and making as well, my tier list for um, Valorant Champions, so basically for Star Power. Let's just say I have Foot and Rex and Keon, in my opinion, in the same tier. On the bottom team. <laughs> oh boy. So, we'll both have a look at Rex and Keon. They have uh, 2G, Iman, EJ, Taboto, uh, Flipsuger, and, Le and uh, Lememo. Obviously, at least some pretty good players, but I mean, they were. <laughs> they struggled against tier 2 talent. I'll say that. The whole team couldn't even make it into. Um, into a tournament which it was just it was just tier two um, teams. I'm pretty sure. So Rex and Keon, they're they're pretty bad. And then we have like a foot esports. And they have Marge, Cracks, KW1, Mr. Fallen, at the captain, and Muge. The only good player, in my opinion, there is Muge because he actually did pretty well. Mr. Fallen, he was actually he was decent when I was watching him in Rebel Homegrounds, but I mean the Rebel Homegrounds were just garbage. Now, <laughs> I think that Rexigum Keon may actually not be the worst team in Sao Paulo. I think Footy Sports are going to be the worst team in Sao Paulo. Because at least, at least Rexigum Keon has some pretty good talent on that roster. As long as you probably hate me for saying that, I generally think that RRQ are actually have some pretty good players in the Indo especially in the Indonesian talent. If they are, okay, because if they have a full Indonesian talent, like a full Indonesian roster, then I would, then I would probably still go with Rexham and Keon. Uh, but obviously because they have three Filipino players, I think one of them is pretty good, one of them is just meh, I'll be honest. And I thought they've just, they've been hot garbage. <laughs> um, I just, I can't see myself voting for Foot Esports, I'll be, I'll be honest. I generally think Rexham and Keon will win against Foot Esports. Generally think so. Because I think Foot is worse than Rexham and Keon. As, even though, I, I, like, because if Foot actually made, like, a lot of changes to their roster, and they've added, like, some, like, five flags Esports players, some parlay like, Esports players, I would immediately then put Rexham and Keon onto, like, as the losers and Foot Esports as the winners. But because they haven't even changed anything, just like Paper X, they haven't changed anything, also A-Division, but Paper X and Z-Division, Z they may actually have a good chance of winning against those teams. I don't know about foot, I'll be honest. Foot, I'm just... Oh, I, foot is just crazy, man. I watched them play, and I was molding the whole time. Either way, 100 Thieves versus Edward Gaming. I was like, Edward Gaming, pretty sure they haven't really changed anything other than they've added, they, they got rid of life. That's really all. They've kept Smoggy, Kong Kong, who is probably still cracked. I'm really excited to see the Kong Kong versus Cryo. That's going to be a good matchup. However... I think just by a squeeze of the teeth, I think 100 Thieves will win against Edward Gaming. Just just a tiny amount, just because the Edward Gaming is a really, really good team, in my opinion. Um, but there is obviously some, uh, there is actually some VODs on them, so they may actually struggle a bit. But I do think 100 Thieves will just win against Edward Gaming. Now this match right here, everyone's kind of talking about this. Sentinels versus Fnatic. Let's talk about this. Fnatic, they have, they have Booster, Durko, Alpha Ye, Leo, Chronicle, and Kamike, who was recently announced as being the sixth player. And they also added SLK. Uh, I'm pretty sure they actually re added SLK into the lineup as their assistant coach along with Mini. That's a really, really good roster. Let's go to Sentinels. We have Tens, Zekin, Sarsi, Pancada, Def, and Sick. Also a really, really good roster. And you have the coaches of Psycho NT and Kaplan. One of these teams is going to be, is, is going home straight away. And I would actually have to say that Fnatic will win this. I think Fnatic has a lot more firepower. They also have Leo, who is a master, I'll be honest. A master of just, they're making somehow crazy plays. And Chronicle is also the master of just making crazy plays and somehow winning them. Along with Durka, who was basically like the golden boy for Fnatic in like the early days. Fnatic. I, 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 I generally, Fnatic will win this. I, I, I can't see myself not going for Fnatic here. Even though I think the Sentinels will put up a good fight. Um, obviously, they've been practicing a lot and everything. Uh, I'll be honest, 
I will not be. I will also not be surprised if Sentinels win also against against Fnatic. I would not be surprised at all because they both of these teams have such amazing talent, amazing players, amazing coaching staff as well, amazing ideas of Death and Boaster who's going to be trying to outdo each other of how they call the games. Um, like great like duelist players like Zekin, who's I'm pretty sure is now the duelist, and Durka, the flex of Alpha and Tens. The initiator of Saucy and Leo, and then Mancada for the smoke. Actually, no, I'm pretty no, I'm no, but I'm pretty sure Leo is the smokes, and then um, uh, Chronicle is the initiator. I'm pretty sure. So other way around. Apologies. Um, so I, 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 I'm really excited about this, Ross. I, I, that that match right here, I think this is gonna be a must watch in my opinion. I'm gonna try and watch it, but it might be but obviously it would be pretty difficult for me because I was like I'm. <laughs> I'm not from Brazil, so it'd be very, very difficult. Team 1 versus Furia. This is the last one. Team 1, they look inc they look super shaky. Um, and incredibly lost in the Ludwig x Tarek Invitational. Furia, we haven't really heard a lot about them. Let's have a look at the roster. Furia, they have Quick, Kali, Mazin, Digizen, and, and, and uh, NW0. They might have Conan, but I'm not too sure, though. Still have no idea. And then Team 1... Uh, we have Zeta, Munchkin, Ban, Sire Player, Byungjung, and Carpe. Now, you may think, like, oh, immediately T1. Yes, yes, T1 may have, like, has, like, some great players. You know, they have Zeta, they have Ban, Munchkin, Sire Player, Carpe. Like, no, not, not Carpe. It's like, Sire Player is crazy. Ban, he's very, very consistent. Zeta, he's cracked on every initiator. Uh, no. <laughs> In the Ludwig x Tarek Invitational, they just forced... They forced... Um, Carpe to just play blinds on initiators. Zeta was just off mana. Munchkin was just going to load the place. Ben was possibly Ben and Side Player were main were possibly the most consistent players and best players on the team. Everyone else was just all over the place, and I'm I'm disappointed as well. Like I, I think Zeta, I think he's a, he's a fantastic player. He should not really be like this. Munchkin, he just I don't know what the hell he's doing. I'll be honest. Apparently, he did the same thing in uh, when he was with Crazy Raccoon. And then Carpe, he looks incredibly lost. He looks super, super lost. And so I think our Furia will win against T1. I don't think there's any surprises there. So I'm moving to the quarterfinals. Liquid versus Navi. Navi, I mean. I think Liquid may actually have a chance of winning this, but definitely, definitely Navi will win that one. Leviathan versus Team Vitality. I think Leviathan is going to win that one. Vitality, I, I do think that though, Vitality will actually put up a good fight against them. Rose and Kim Rose now you just move on. Fnatic versus Furia. Fnatic. No, no surprises there. Semi finals Navi versus Leviathan. Navi, obviously. And this match 100 Thieves versus Fnatic. I am not too sure, I'll be honest. Um, 100 Thieves, they have been looking. They obviously won the Red Bull home grounds. Fnatic, they won Superdome. They were, I guess, the winners of the. Uh, Everyone against Japan uh, event. One other, I'm pretty sure Fnatic was in a, was in one more, but I cannot remember what it was. Um, so I'm not I'm not too sure. This one's also going to be pretty close, in my opinion. I think you can really go either way for these teams. You can say under thieves, you can say Fnatic. However, I do think that I'm not too sure now. Oh god. <laughs> um. I ay 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 that is this is difficult. Both teams also have such amazing players, amazing talent play, amazing talented players. So uh less you know what, I think because I'm trying to remember all the coaching stuff, so 100 Thieves, uh, you know what, l l let's have a look at 100 Thieves coaching stuff. They have Mike and James IRL, who's obviously, which has, that's actually a really good coaching stuff. And then let's go to Fnatic, they have Mini and SLK. Now, I'm not too sure what SLK's, um, uh, what's the general for position is going to, well, not position, what's his um, situation going to be, because obviously he is representing the Russian flag, so I'm not too sure if that's going to work or anything, I don't know. Um, I will have to probably say Fnatic. I think Fnatic will win it, and um, that is my pickems. So, do I think the four teams are going to qualify? I think it'll be NRG and DRX from the Alpha, 
And then um, for, for uh, Omega, we have Na'Vi and Fnatic. Um, I'm pretty confident. Uh, um, maybe this I'm not that confident in. Maybe some of the matches I'm also not that confident in. But um, you know what? Balls to the wall. We'll go with it. Fun Plus, versus, fun plus it, even if the FPS was a Karma Club now, which is a bit of a balls to the wall prediction because I feel like because Jiqui which I'm pretty sure is the former um, team name that they were all a part of. That, that There's not a lot of VODs on them, so I do think Karma Corp may actually struggle, and I'm not that confident, I'll be honest, on Shin and Nozira. Um, obviously, they could be amazing players, so I'm not too confident on them. I think they're probably going to struggle, um, but yeah, I'm I, I'm pretty confident now on these rosters. I think they're going to be pretty good. I think this is a good pick -ups. and obviously, hopefully tomorrow or whatever, I don't know. Obviously, after you see this video or whenever this video is announced, I'll be doing this one, the Valorant Simulator, and obviously I'll be doing the point system like always, just like in Pickems. I'll be doing the point system, uh, five, ten, and fifteen points. Obviously, what it shows right here, five, ten, and fifteen. Yeah. So, yeah, that's really about it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys on next time in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.